Good morning. God bless you. You are with Lisa. This is the Father's Love Letter series from Flame Radio and here at Saw Watchman TV. This week, I want us to take a good look at a Greek, a Hebrew word, Shaba. God is the Lord Sabaoth. You've heard El Sabaoth. That is one of his names. And what does that mean? Well, it means the Lord of hosts, the Lord of the angel armies. We see this throughout the Bible. And that means that God is the head of the angel armies that are here for you and for me. Angels are ministering flames of fire. And they've been sent here to help the body of Christ, God's people, in fulfilling the plan and the purpose that God wills. These angelic hosts are militant heaven sent helpers. That's right. You can think of examples when Elijah had run away from Jezebel and there she is. He is there at the juniper tree and an angel of the Lord was sent to minister to him. Can you think of other times the angels have ministered on behalf of humans, on behalf of God's people? Well, even at the beginning when Jesus was born, uh, an angel appeared just before he was born to Mary to announce the good news. That is, Jesus, Yeshua the Messiah, would be born that she had been chosen. Angels are messengers, but they are also those who go on our behalf performing the word of the Lord. Now, the Hebrew word Shabbat, remember God's name, El Shabbat. Or. Shabbat means to ally. It means to combine it is the Hebrew word that means to integrate. It describes a formation of a distinct group, an inner group, an inner economy, and those neighboring groups. And often this, this word in the Hebrew language, Shabbat, comes from, uh, is used in military terms. It is often a military unit, but it's not restricted to that. Now, this noun describes a highly experienced group, a distinct unit, a league, a team, a collective, or an army division. These are the angels that are sent. But you are a Sabbath if you know the Lord Jesus Christ. We have brothers and sisters who are with us, and they are corporately unified with a Sabbath. He has the army of light, the angels of light there for us. And we, body of Christ, are a Sabbath. Ephesians 1 says that we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. That's God's kingdom. Amen. And it is worthy of all honor and praise. And one of my favorite of all psalms is psalms 103 because it speaks of our mouth but it also speaks about what we do with our mouth that is bless amen it says bless the lord on my soul all that is within me i will bless his holy name so today it says that in that psalm that there are angels that hearken to the voice of the lord to perform it so when we align our mouth and our heart on our mind with the word of God and then decree that out of our mouths. Not only is it a living seed, but then we have angels who go to perform the word on our behalf. We see we have the Saba, the highly militant elite group of angelic hosts who God is the El Sabe of the Lord of hosts, the head of it fighting for us. So whatever struggle, whatever battle you are going through, whatever you are facing, what is it that you're speaking out concerning that? What is it that you are thanking the Father for, knowing that the angels now, if you speak his word out, will go to perform it? Aren't you glad that all of heaven backs us up? They are fighting for us. Jesus Christ was the God who came here in the flesh and we know in the book of john it says jesus christ who is the word and the word was with god and the word was God. 
and he became flesh. So that means that the word of God, who is God, came in the form of a man, Jesus Christ, who then became flesh. And then it goes on to say that he dwelt, he lived, he tabernacled with us. And without his shed blood and sacrifice, we would not have access to the Father through Jesus Christ. So it is through Jesus Christ, the word Sabaoth, hosts, give us instructions. Everything is through Jesus Christ. We can see that in the book of Colossians. So are you feeling weary? Lean on Jesus. Lean on Jesus. Through him, you can do all things. Know that the angels, the supper, are going on your behalf to perform the word of the Lord. Let's just finish with this. So can I just challenge you this week? Instead of listening to media, instead of listening to other people, what about go and listen and read and decree out the word of God? Because if you do, angels will go on your behalf. The Shapa, a highly elite military unit, because we are in a battle. We are in a war. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name. We shall bless the Lord, O oh our soul. That is our mind, our will, emotions. Who forgets not all of our benefits. Who heals all thy diseases. Who redeems our life from destruction he satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagle aren't you glad that we have el sabaoth the lord of hosts the lord of the angel armies who is charging forth in the name of jesus knowing that heaven backs you up this day this week meditate upon this word hebrew word shabbat the highly elite unit and my challenge is who are you around who is the Shapa that you can come around and join forces with so that they too can fight and have your back? They too can stand back to back, side by side, knowing that the angels are going forth to perform the word of God. Let us pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, that angels are ministering flames of fire. We know that they are a Shapa, a highly trained military unit. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are the head of the angel armies, the host of heaven. Father, we thank you that they go forth on our behalf. They are ministering flames of fire, just as we heard with Jesus, they were there. Elijah, they were there. All throughout the Bible, angels have been there to help and to perform God's word. Not our own will, but God's word. This day, Father, we thank you that our own angels, Lord, that see your face, Father, are working on our behalf to fulfill the plans and the purposes that you have for us. And Father, I thank you that our destiny and everything in it is in your hands. Lord, we commission angels on our behalf this week to fight for us, to fight for our family, to fight for this nation, to fight, Father, for the kingdom of light. And this we decree in Jesus' name. If you agree with me, say yes and amen. This is Lisa. You've been listening to the Father's Love Letters series. You have the power to evangelize this year. It is at a finger of a button. What are you waiting for? Let everybody know the truth in Jesus' name. See you next week.